Hi there. If you've been watching my videos or keeping up with this channel, you will know that one of the themes that I talk about uh, in many of my videos is the concept of resolving your case by agreement versus taking the matter to trial. In the past couple of months, I have had uh, a number of cases that for whatever reason um, ended up going to trial rather than settling. And I was involved both representing the litigants um, and in a few cases representing uh, the children of the litigants as the best interest attorney. All of the cases that I've had that I'm thinking of in my head um, in 2021, settlement offers were on the table before the matter went to trial. And in all of these cases, I feel like the writing was on the wall uh, for one of the litigants, one of the parents. Um, and that individual chose whether their attorney couldn't get through to them or for whatever reason that they were not going to, they were not going to, or they felt that they could not accept the terms uh, that were proposed to them via settlement. And they either wanted to have their day in court or they wanted to, you know, not give up without a fight, which is understandable. These are very important issues in family law um, for, for parents, for litigants, for parties. Um, but in each of these cases, in my opinion, for the litigant who I felt like the writing was on the wall, they ended up doing worse, getting a far worse outcome from the judge after trying their case than what was on the table in terms of a settlement. And I'm talking not just about financial elements or attorney's fees, child support, those things. I'm talking about time with their children, the ability to make decisions about their children, very important, critical, critical um, parts of life that is very difficult to undo if you're if you're wrapped up in family law litigation. Um, so I just wanted to take this moment to get this out there to you know the people that follow my videos. It's when your attorney is trying to get you to think about settlement or getting you to compromise on certain issues to get an agreement prior to trial. Um, it's not always an, uh, a case where your attorney doesn't want to fight for you or, or they're not you know, a really good attorney or they're not a fighter. Um, in a lot of cases, a good attorney is really trying to limit your exposure, the, their client's exposure to a bad outcome. Um, and so a smart attorney might be pushing their client pretty hard to accept terms that the client doesn't like because that attorney realizes, hey, it could get a lot worse than this. And I have seen that. A number of times in 2021 um, it's really regrettable I think the outcomes in court were completely justified um, but when you see what could have been the resolution via agreement versus what was imposed on a, an entire family via the court system um, sometimes you're just left shaking your head so with that said uh, if you know anyone or you have any questions about family law matters divorce child custody Anything along those lines, please don't hesitate to contact me or anyone at my office. That's Weinberg and Schwartz. You can reach us at 410-997-0203. And if you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and share this video with any of your friends or colleagues. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.